Hello friends, welcome to Code Sutra. In this video, we'll be solving lead code problem number 2050, Parallel Courses 3. And if you were not able to understand or solve this problem on your own, do consider solving these problems. That is 207 and 2010. Both of them are on lead code. So do consider solving this problem because they use the same concept that we'll be using to solve this particular problem. And these are medium level problem. So do consider solving this problem. And at the end of the video, I have shared some similar problems which you can solve to understand the concept even better. Having said that, we also have a dedicated Telegram community of 400 plus people where we'll be discussing problem like this. So if you are someone like that, please do consider joining our telegram community. I have mentioned the link in the description. So having said that, let's dive into the problem. In this problem, we are given a value of n. So what does this indicate? This indicates that there are five subjects. So these are the five subjects. That is one, two, three, four, five, labeled from one. And we also have a, a relations array that is given to us. So what does this indicate? This indicates that if you want to take the course 5 or the subject 5, what do you have to do? You cannot take course 5 before completing the course 1. Okay. Similarly, you cannot take the course 5 before completing the course 2 and so on. Say for example here, you cannot complete course 4 or you cannot start course 4 before you have completed course 3. Right. And, and so we are also given a time array. What does this indicate? This indicates in order to complete the first course, in order to complete the first course, we require a time of one month to complete the second course. Similarly, two, three, four, and five. All right. Now, now having said that this will be the graph. So what does this graph indicate? Why did we first of all convert this to, into a graph? Because this is one of the common pattern that comes with graph that is called as topological sort. If you don't know what is topological sort, I will click quickly explain in this video uh, for maybe 30 to 45 seconds. So do please listen. So what we have done here is we have drawn the same graph. What does this indicate? This indicates only after you have completed course one. If you see here, it is a directed graph, right? So only after you have completed the course one, then only we'll be able to complete course five. So that is what it indicates. Similarly, after two only you can complete five, after three only five. Similarly, we have drawn the entire graph. Now, let's come to the concept of what is topological sort. The only difficult thing in topological sort is to pronounce this, except that it is a very easy and intuitive concept, right? If you look at the graph, if you look at the graph, which is the first subject that you will take, which is the first course that you will do. Say, will you do course five? No, right? Because by saying the graph, you know, without completing one, you cannot do course five. Similarly, can you take course four? No, you cannot take take course four. Why? Because you know that we have to complete course three before course four. Now, now, which are the courses which you can take first? So you can either pick one or you can pick two or you can pick three. You can pick any one of them. So the thing is, we will pick all of them. Right. So we will parallelly do all the courses. We will do course one, two, three. So this is the first set of courses that we will be taking. But how did we determine this? We determine this by looking at the graph. There is no incoming to this. There is no incoming to any of these nodes. That was the idea. Right. So what we do in topological sort is very simple. So once we have this first set of subjects. Now let's look at this. Let's look at this. And let's say we want to complete this course. How we complete? Don't worry. Now, for example, we completed this course. So after we have completed this course, which is the next subject that is getting freed, the next subject that is getting freed is four. How did we determine that the only incoming for four, there was only one incoming or this is also called as in degree. How many in degree did four have? That is how many prerequisites it did four have? It just had one in degree and by completing the course three by completing the course three, we reduce this in degree to zero, right? Once it has zero, we can complete the or start the course four. Now, can you start course five? No, right? If you look for five, if you look for five, what is the in degree? So one, two, three, four. So if you look here, one, two, three, four. So for five, the in degree is four. Just by completing three, this five became actually three. 
now now since we have also started course 4 let's put this course 4 here so 1 to 4 are currently the subjects that you are undertaking now let's complete one as well one as well. now what is the in degree of this phi become it will become 2 how we freed up this course similarly by completing 2 this will become 1 and by completing the last course this will become 0 so he if you see here all of them are now having an in degree of 0 which means you have completed all the courses so this is the fundamental idea of topological sort so that is what i intended to uh, explain with this but if you look here there is an additional constraint that is given in the problem what is that additional constraint we are also given time constraints in the graph that is say if you want to complete the course one you require one month Similarly, for course 2, you will be requiring 2 months. So now, similar to the first example, what we will be doing, we will be using the same thing. But let me write down the time required for each of those courses. That is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is the time required. This is the actual time required. And we will also have an answer array. We will also have an answer array. For now, for now, initially, can we assume that this will be the minimum time required to complete each courses right i'm just copying these values say for example even if you have picked up this course individually you still require five months to complete this course so that is what we have written now the next step that we'll be doing here is once we have the graph the next step that we'll be doing here is identifying the in degrees of all of them how do we identify the in degrees all we have to do is look at this graph or you can look at this array while you are drawing this array itself while you are traversing this array itself you can adjust the in degrees accordingly so by looking at the graph what is the in degree of 1 the in degree is 0 0 0 1 and 5 so these are the in degrees so let me mention here this is in degree so we will be requiring three arrays one is in degree one is time and one will be our answer array that is in order to complete this course what is the time required now since these three we will traverse through the entire in degree array and we will identify what are those which are having zero in degree so we have identified one two and three so let us add it to a queue so one two and three now now what do we do we remove the first item from the queue so one is now completed so one is now completed now can we just complete and sit quiet no we have to adjust something we have to adjust something what is that so in order to complete one what is the time required the time required is one one so which is the neighbor of one if you look the neighbor of one or it is freeing up five so it is reducing the in degree of five from five to four now it is not only reducing the in degree but but don't forget we have to readjust this so we have five and we also have five plus one we have to pick up whichever is the maximum of them how did we get at this five plus one in order to complete the first course we require one so we have to consider the time taken by this course and also the time taken by this so this five will be readjusted to a six so this will be readjusted to a six now we are done with one so there is no need to touch one now so now let's go to course two similarly the course two is having zero now again again it is six we have six and we have the second option that is five plus two why five plus two the original time required to complete this course was five and it is saying that you cannot complete without completing me so we have to add five plus two and pick up whichever is the maximum so this six will again be changed to a seven so this will now be a seven now we are done with course two now course three this is where the interesting part occurs so course three again once again this uh, seven will actually be changed to an eight if you look here this seven will get changed to an eight why because again the prerequisite is three now now not just five is getting reduced not just the in degree of five is getting reduced but the in degree of this is also getting reduced to zero this is also getting reduced to zero so once this is becoming zero what should we do we should be adding that to the queue we should be adding that to the end of the queue not only we should be doing that we should also adjust the maximum time taken or the answer so what is the maximum time taken four 
plus 3 or the existing value that is 4. So the maximum of these two will be 7. So we have to adjust 7 accordingly. Now we can complete the course 3. Now again if you do the same thing we have will be having two options for this that is one is 8 which is already existing or whichever we got here that is 7 that is 7 plus plus 5. So now we have two options one is 8 and one is 12 which is the maximum the maximum will be 12. So this will be the answer array. So if you look here what is the answer array 1 2 3 1 2 3 7 and 12. So this will be the time taken to complete each of the courses. Say if you started at month 0 after one month you will complete this course Af only after the 12th month you will complete the fifth course. So the maximum time taken here is 12. So this will be our answer. Now let's dive into the steps and pseudo code of this particular problem. So this is the first step that you have to follow in any graph problem. That is we are given in the form of an two dimensional array. We are given the relationship in the form of a two dimensional array. The first step is we will convert this. We will convert this into a graph. How do we convert this? Say for example, what are the neighbors of one? The neighbors of one is five. So that is what we are doing. Say for example, five had three neighbors, not in this problem. Say five had one, two and three. These are the neighbors. So that is what we'll be tracking in this graph. So that is the first step of any graph problem or at least most of the graph problems. Now we have an in degree, we have an in degree. And if you look here, while we are traversing this 2D array, we are increasing the in degree of the second. Say for example, there is a node like this, there is uh, edge like this. So what we do, we increase the in degree of four. So that is what we are doing here. And we are also creating a graph. After that, after that, the next step, the second step is, the second step is all the elements or the subjects whose in degree will be zero will now be added to Q. In our example, one, two, three, the in degree of these three were actually equal to zero. So we thought we will complete this first and all the three were added to the Q. After we have done that, don't forget this is the maximum time. All we just did was keeping the same values from the time and we just copied them, right? Because this is the minimum time that will be required. The next step, the interesting part of this problem is this. That is, we'll be removing node from the graph. Say for example, we have one, two, three. We will remove this from the graph. Once we have removed this, we will identify what are the neighbors of one. So in this case, the neighbor of one is just five. There can be multiple neighbors also. Say for example, one, two and five. There could be a graph like this also. There could be a graph like this also. So we will traverse through all the neighbors and we will reduce their in degree. So why? Because we have completed this. Now we can complete this, right? So we are reducing the in degree by one. And, and we are also readjusting the maximum value, readjusting the maximum value. What are the option? One is the existing option. Say course five is taking five time. However, however, this prerequisite is saying that you cannot complete in five months, but you have to complete me before you complete yourself. So it will be five or six. So six will be readjusted, right? And then again, just in the case of course four, what we did once the in degree get reduced to zero, we'll be adding it to the graph, right? So finally, we'll be returning the maximum of whatever answer array we had. We had one, two, three, seven, and 12. So what is the maximum of this? That is 12. So that will be our answer and we'll be returning 12. And there are a few similar problems that you can solve in order to understand this concept even better and i would definitely recommend you to solve this problem and this is the hard level problem but it will give you overall very thorough understanding of topological sort and these three are medium level problems so do consider solving this first and then try this problem thank you for watching the video please do like share and subscribe